Miss Amber. And I'm Miss Kat. We're with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. Welcome to our YA Book Talk, Tea for Teen, where we spill the tea on the hottest books. Today, we'll be discussing two of our new favorite books. Dustborn by Aaron Bowman. And The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. Let's get started. Dustborn is a post-apocalyptic western following Delta of Dead River and her pack living in an endless desert plagued by geoelectrical storms. Delta also happens to be the keeper of a map to the legendary oasis, the Verdant, which was branded on her back as a child. When a mysterious new tyrant called the General kidnaps Delta's pack, she knows that he can only be searching for her and the map. Delta then ventures out into the waste, determined to rescue her pack and put an end to the general's tyranny. Mary Jekyll has been left to handle the remainder of her family's estate, and there's not much left of it. She is facing a penniless life if she cannot find a way to make ends meet, and there's only so much furniture she can sell. As she begins the tedious task of finalizing the estate, she stumbles across her father's curious secrets and his research of a mysterious past. All signs point to Edward Hyde, her father's former friend, and ultimately the cause of his death. With this information, she may be able to find the elusive Mr. Hyde and collect a handsome reward in return, and this would solve everything. However, things aren't always what they seem, and the hunt leads her to more questions than answers, and an unusual group of ladies who have been terrifyingly experimented on join her along the way. With the help of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Mary and her newfound monstrous allies lead to the discovery of something more dangerous than the terrifying Mr. Hyde she's been looking for. Based on some of literature's greatest horror and sci-fi classics, this story brings mystery and curiosities to the forefront with a group of remarkable women leading the helm. Wow, as a fan of the classics and the classic Penny Dreadfuls, I need to read that book. <laughs> so why do you believe that this is a good transitional piece from YA to adult fiction? So I feel that this is such a good transitional piece because it definitely blurs the line between adult fiction and YA fiction. Even the author herself has said that's how she intended it to be. She intended it to be something in between for those people looking to start moving over to adult fiction. And if you read the originals, like the Frankensteins, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the Sherlock Holmes, those are very adult books and they deal with a lot of adult themes. And sometimes it is a little bit harder for YA to read that. Mm -hmm. So you don't always understand the whole concept of that story. So this story brings those characters that at least you're somewhat familiar with and you understand the basics of their story, mm -hmm. it brings them into a whole new light and a whole new story that does feel very relatable to them. Uh, so it makes the story fun and exciting and it makes you actually wanna go back and read those original classics and it makes everything kind of come full circle and a lot more exciting in that sense. Awesome, yeah. Okay, so that was a little bit about my book. Let's talk about yours, Dustborn. What was, it sounds super exciting by the way, and I am very excited for it to come out in what, April 20th is April the date? April 20th is the projected uh, publication date and it is on order with your local library. So you can check out our catalog and put your hold in now. So that's really exciting. But I wanna talk to you a little bit about the theme of your story. Um, so what exactly is the theme and how did it drive the story? How did it make it just that much better? So I think the major theme for Dustborn was communication. 
or what happens to society when there is a lack of communication. In Dustborn, no one can read and no one can write, and that way history is influenced uh, verbally. And you can turn history into just about whatever you want when it's all verbal. So uh, it becomes a philosophical battle where mm. communication is broken down. And that way, without communication, uh, there is no trust between people. And then, because there is no trust between people, mm -hmm. society is no longer well-functioning, and it just completely deteriorates. So I think that was the main takeaway, and that's what really drove this book. Wow, that sounds super, super cool. I really, really enjoyed it, and I really hope y'all enjoy it as well. We hope you enjoyed the tea on these two books. And we encourage you to check out one or both of these titles at your local library. Until next time, bye! bye.